Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a layer 3D. So in this little animation, the Mike Murphy Unplugged logo is 3D. You can see the front and the back of it. It is spinning on the Y axis. I'm going to hide the 3D layer. I have a copy here of just a static 2D logo layer. There is no animation. It is not in 3D. And I want to solo this just so we can focus on animating this logo. To solo a layer, all you need to do is click on this box under the circle icon here. And that will solo the layer and hide everything else. To make any layer 3D in Adobe After Effects, all you need to do is click in this box under the 3D cube icon. So if I check on that, this logo is now in 3D space. If you are not seeing the cube icon or the option to make a layer 3D, click on this button here, toggle switches and modes, and now you will see the column for 3D. Click on the box, and now you can animate this layer in 3D space. I'm gonna uncheck the 3D, so it's back to a 2D logo layer. Now watch what happens as soon as I make this layer 3D. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the box here. It is in 3D space now. Now I have these other options. I have orientation, X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation. If you look at the anchor point, position, scale properties, you will see this third option here. So now you can animate this in Z space. And once you make a layer 3D, if you select the layer, you will see these little handles here. The green one here, that's the Y. So if I just move my mouse up and down, I can now move this on the Y axis. The red, that is the X, so I can move it side to side. And the blue one that you see there, that is the Z axis. So if I'm just moving my mouse here, you will see here it's moving on the Z axis. With the logo off the canvas, the playhead at the very beginning, I'm gonna click on the stopwatch for position and Y rotation. That will create keyframes at the very beginning. I'm gonna drag the playhead out to one second. With the move tool selected, I'm gonna press the shift key so the logo doesn't go up and down, it stays in a straight line. And I'm just gonna drag it out. I'm just gonna stop wherever I want the animation to end. I'm gonna let go and that will create a position keyframe. And now it is time to make the logo spin in 3D space. For that, we're gonna animate the Y rotation. I want this logo to spin 360 degrees or one full turn. So I can click and drag this until it gets to 360. I could type in here 360 or I could just type in one since I want to rotate one full spin. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. You'll see here it automatically created that keyframe for me. Move the keyframes further apart to slow down the animation. Move them closer together to speed it up. Select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease or right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. My name is Mike Murphy. That is how you create and animate a 3D layer in Adobe After Effects. Cheers.